Hi, my name is Meenakshi and I have been with the CRPS and now Central Pain Syndrome for over uh, 23 years. And to add to that mixture, I was diagnosed with the Parkinson's two years back. So when you think of pain, especially uh, with Central Pain Syndrome, we have intense flares, which you know, keep you down once a month for me usually. And then we try to get along. But being uh, diagnosed with Parkinson's along with central pain syndrome, other than the shooting pains and the flares, there is also now the tightening of limbs. And uh, what it does for me is it's it's difficult to explain because usually with Central pain syndrome, any kind of massaging also doesn't work well for me. So when you think of uh, Parkinson's with those kind of this thing, at least uh, by taking uh, sin, uh, Sindopa and Sincapone before, uh, it helped in relaxing some of the muscles. Uh, so I just thought uh, I would talk about this this being the month of Parkinson's uh, support, that when you already are with a chronic pain uh, problem where you have been on painkillers and, you know, doing different things to keep a flare in account, and especially with something like CRPS and CPS, where you either are able to tolerate heat or not tolerate heat, and then you have... Uh, times when you uh, have your fingers curl or the legs uh, uh, getting tightened, it's very difficult to say whether, in my case now, whether it's from central pain syndrome or it is from uh, Parkinson's. So I've just decided to call it all pain and see where it goes. And interestingly, uh, with the muscle relaxants given for Parkinson's, uh, there has been, there have been days where I felt relatively all right and not pushed down by my flares. I find that uh, the main this thing is like my mobility has decreased a little bit with these tremors and this thing, and I'm not able to walk slopes. I can do stairs, but I can't walk slopes and. I have a problem with balance, but if you look at the people who have been with CRPS, again, these are some of the uh, symptoms uh, that also occur. The funniest part of all this is like when I took the test two years back to find out if it was Parkinson's and it came out uh, positive, uh, it just seemed like a huge relief to know that you know, I really have a disease that people know about. Uh, for most people with chronic brain syndrome, uh, with central pain syndrome, there are very few who understand what is happening. So it was an insane moment when, you know, I felt very thrilled to, you know, fall in a category of uh, a disease that uh, people actually know about. So it has been an interesting journey and initially it was difficult to reconcile, you know, the flares from central pain syndrome and also these shakes and tremors and feeling uh, a little off balance. But in the past uh, one year, I think with, uh, you know, doing uh, physiotherapy and, you know, uh, being able to reach my doctors, that was the most brilliant part by everything coming online. So I actually didn't have to do this, uh, which is a great trouble for me is like traveling. So I could talk to my doctors directly. And so I'm at a point right now, you know, I don't want to call it either Parkinson's or central pain syndrome, but rather, you know, try to see how much I can do uh, physically and as well as mentally uh, with these two conditions, but uh, trying to see 
how much I can do. Earlier, I would get very upset when I was not able to do things that I want to do. But I think uh, now it's come to a point where I condense my day where I can do anything to a few hours and then do not get too disturbed emotionally about it uh, affecting me more. Uh, with Parkinson's, one of the most uh, easiest thing that people see is the tremors. And uh, it was very funny, you know, even though I was using a cane for my uh, central pain syndrome to help me move about, it is like uh, the small things that used to irritate me is like someone seeing my hand shake with, uh, you know, a cup of tea or something. And uh, I think it really discomforts people uh, when they see the shakes and Parkinson's or, you know, uh, uh, things like that, or the voice suddenly becoming uh, squeaky, an inability to eat. But all these are also symptoms that occur in central pain syndrome. So this month being a Parkinson's Awareness Month, uh, I would like to just share that, you know, uh, maybe it is like a paradigm shift when you know immediately what the name of your disease is and people know about it, that I've stopped calling myself having central pain and instead tell everyone it's Parkinson's. Uh, and it's something that, you know, you can, uh, uh, what do you say, work around. Whereas people with, uh, you know, something like central pain will not be able to describe it to other people. Most of you who've had this would have heard people telling you it's all in your head. But right now, in my head, there is a disease that can be seen. So actually, I'm very happy to have been diagnosed as a Parkinson's patient.